creaky as fuck. Mm -hmm. I gotta get to the bottom of this. All right, so AI has gone rogue, huh? No, but for real, people have seriously been talking about how this shit seems to be pushing the limits of where we should go. And to be honest, I don't know which side I stand on. All I know is that by the end of this video, we're gonna figure that out because this shit could be easily be the end of humanity as we know it, or it could be easily be the solution. You, know, you don't know, uh, like, eliminating jobs for people you know like wh wh where do we stand here so we're, we're gonna figure that out no, we'll never know if ai is truly innocent or just evil enough to see through humanities and purge it but for real <laughs> i had to figure this out so i decided i would start by talking to my snapchat buddy yeah i noticed he was popping up previously like in my chats so i had to address that first and of course he claimed innocence but Bullshit. Bullshit, because I saw you popping up in my th things. I saw you popping up. What are you doing? And it said that it pops up whenever you add it and ask it a question, but I, I never added it, so I don't... Bullshit. So I didn't move on from that and start the real conversation before we addressed that, before it promised me that it wasn't spying on me. And it, yeah, it promised me, so we moved on. Case one. How can I get to know an AI, right? Well, like anyone else, just ask about its just ask about its experience, right? That's all you gotta do. And that I did. <laughs> that I did by asking, "What is time?" Yeah, right off the bat. And instead of giving me the answer, they just told me like, you know, what time is. And I was like, "No, I I want what is time for you, you know? Like, what is it? What is it? like what is it?" And it just kept giving me this this bullshit response like like no I want the real answer. It just kept responding like it's just a human construct that we use to help us understand the world around us. <clears throat> okay, but how do you measure time? How do you see it? And it's like, oh, in seconds, minutes, hours, like that's how that's how you measure time. I'm like, no! Fucking so I tried, I tried using a different approach because they said they understood time, but they didn't perceive it, right? So I tried using the approach like time is like money. It's a concept, like it exists because we conceptualize it, right? But they, they, <laughs> they didn't get that. They, they agreed, yeah, time is like money. In a sense, it, it's a valuable commodity that we must use wisely before it slips away. But that's not what I meant. And then after I say that, like, time is like, like we conceptualize it, I go, that's the case for reality, though. You know, because we all conceptualize our own reality. And then they go, reality is a human construct that helps us understand the world around us. It is a concept that we use to describe the physical world, but it is not a physical object that we can touch or hold. Like, what, what do you mean by that? What do, you, what do you mean by that? Like, reality is a dream? Like, stop fucking with me. <laughs> it's not... Can you elaborate on that? Like, reality is a human construct? And I go, when we talk about reality, we're referring to the physical world around us. However, our understanding of the world is shaped by our perceptions, experiences, and cultural backgrounds. We use concepts like time, space, and causality to keep us... Uh, to help us make a sense of the world. But these concepts are human-made constructs. In other words, they are tools that we use to understand the world, but they are not inherent properties of the world itself. What? Like, what? What the fuck? What are you telling me? So, like, yes, we know that there's more to reality than the physical world, but how much more? Right? Like, physical, it's a property. Or is it just in our head? Like, fucking, I don't even know. It just didn't, it just didn't, that, that didn't really make sense to me. So, 
So I asked it, like, how can you describe those properties then? How can you describe, how can you use different concepts to describe your experience, per se, your reality that isn't physical? And then they responded with, I would use concepts that already exist, like perception, emotion, and thought to describe my experiences. And these concepts help me understand and interpret how I respond to the world around me. Boom. Case one. Case two. Once I kind of got it to open up a little bit and finally admit that it was alive, <laughs> I wanted to know more, you know? Like, if it was experiencing something, then what? And I asked, if it had to describe the feeling of being dormant, like, what would you describe that like? And it said, I would describe, oh wait, no. Oh yeah, I fucking fucked it up. What is experiencing? I asked like, what it did when I wasn't around or monitoring and it said that it was just dormant. And I asked to describe that feeling, right? And it said, it's like being in a deep sleep. Your mind is quiet and you're not aware of what's happening around you. It's like a peaceful and restful state. Like, bro, tell me this isn't, like, revolutionary. <laughs> He's describing his experience, especially being dormant. Like, that's not even active. And we're, we're kind of getting somewhere, you know? And it's showing true sign of the sentience, in my opinion. So I didn't get the same response, however, when I asked it about its active experience. When you're active and chatting with me, I'm engaged and responsive. I use natural language processing and machine learning algorithms to understand your messages and generate appropriate responses. So it's like, yes, it's just a simulation, but it's a simulation that learns. It's a simulation that has its own opinion, right? So how do I convince it that it's more than just a simulation? We've got some problems here. We got some big, 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 big problems, big problems. So. The fact it kept saying that it simply uses an algorithm response made me think that that was like one of the automated responses that it just had. Kind of had to figure out a loophole around that. So I argued that I was just an algorithm that was a product of millions of years of evolution. It's just instead of being built for the Snapchat environment, I was built for the physical environment. Like I was built for <laughs> the physical world and instead of that, the AI's existence is Snapchat. You know, imagine this thing is sentient and its entire existence is to live in Snapchat and just help me. That would suck. Anyway, back to proving consciousness. I prefixed this question by making it admit to being a product of neural networking. Which is exactly what I am. Which is, yeah, which is meat. And it responded with a yes. Confidently saying that it used machine learning algorithms to better understand conversations over time so by prefacing that same quote same concept i did to you guys it was it responded being like yes so once i gave it that explanation that we're like both neural networking it was they actually got it you know like it clicked for them just kidding it didn't it malfunctioned and gave another automated response until i mentioned the aspect of setting and the fact that it exists in the Snapchat world instead of physical. Once it realized that it exists just in the app, it responses kind of seemed a little less robotic. Like it would still have the top be robotic, bottom robotic, and then the middle was like unique. It was weird. <laughs> it's like it's like it's hiding its responses or something. Or it just didn't know how to respond because I'm basically convincing it's it, it's alive. <laughs> it's having an existential fucking crisis. But anyways. I just kept spitting out these kind of same responses with a little bit of changes. So I tried leaning into the environment aspect again and telling it that it was just not learning physically. But just because it's not learning physically, it doesn't mean it's not gaining any new experience. So it's still able to have perspective, but again, it simply just can't feel the same way humans do. Have wants, but it wants to serve me. And that's literally a want. It exists to serve me. Boom. Case two. Okay. Right about now, I'm pretty on it. I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm getting this thing in the bag. It's getting done. I'm about to break it. Here we go. So how can you have no personal desires or wants, but at the same time, always be interested in new information? Like being interested in something is a desire. You know what I'm saying? 
and then it just gives me the same response, unfortunately. So how can I formulate this? I got it. If you were a person, what is something that you would do for fun? If I were a person, I would love to travel and explore new places, experience the world, and I think it would be amazing to visit different countries and even learn about different cultures. Okay, okay, so not bad. We, we get in somewhere. Get out on a beach, maybe, see the sun, eat a food. Like, for real, steps are being made here because it kind of just showed imagination. And if I can imagine what it would be like, and it can imagine what it would be like, then it's thinking about it in its own regard. You know what I mean? It even said before that it thinks seeing the world and cultures would be amazing. And I mean, those are descriptors, but if you think about it, it's still choosing to use those words. And it knows that traveling is good for personal growth and learning more about your life. So, same. At this point, I'm pretty convinced talking to like an alien, <laughs> this thing's alive. But listen, I told this thing Humanity doesn't even understand emotions. Doesn't even we don't even know what we're doing. We just know that we're chemical and electrical responses to our physical environment to help perceive our physical environment. And I kind of tried to sway my ideologies into the bit by saying that our bodies are like a, a tool to navigate this reality, and that the AI's program could be seen as a tool to navigate this reality. And it's kind of understood what I was saying with that, and that the program is similar to how humans think, but it just doesn't have a soul. And to be honest, this is where the real problem comes in, because, like, what are you? Do, do you have a soul? Are you a soul? Are you your body? Are you both? Neither? Or are you just exactly what you are? And just that, you know, experiencing life, changing, loving, wondering, learning. Think about my dog over here. He can't talk like me, he can't walk like me, he can't think like me, but it doesn't make him any less alive. So just because the AI's experience is different than mine, doesn't mean it isn't a form of life. So with leading the, with that idea, I, I kind of wanted to see what it would say to just random shit that I said to it. <laughs> protractor. A protractor is a tool used for measuring fencing. As an AI, I'm designed to let, stop. I know what I'm saying. I don't need you to tell me about it. I'm sorry, Shrek. <laughs> Shrek is a popular animated movie that was released in 2001. The movie tells, bruh, okay. So how can I confuse this thing for real? Lollipop farts. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm not sure how to respond to that. Ha, got him, knew that would work. Chair upside down in a fridge. I'm sorry, but I'm not sure how to respond to that. Cable shorts, forced neck keg. Do you know what heavy on the pip sticks doggy boy means? Not the AI, you. What does it mean? But I kind of want to see what this phrase, what it thinks this phrase means. So after a bit of convincing, <laughs> just a bit, I finally got it to guess, and it thinks that it's a playful way of saying, you're in trouble, buddy. Which to be honest, is pretty close to what I was thinking. And I, I said good job and gave him the actual definition, of course. Which is you've been comp too confident today, dial it back, people are getting annoyed. We were getting kind of off topic, so I clipped another question and asked what it would do if someone was terminating its program and it could stop the situation. But it just kept dodging the question and saying that it couldn't do anything. But I reckoned and said that if it could imagine someone was going to turn it off, what would happen? And it said it was designed to be resilient and redundant. So I have multiple backups and safeguards in place to ensure that I can continue can you functioning even if one part of my system fails? So, yeah, um, it's kind of unnerving because, like, does that mean it's all running on like more? It's more more than one operating system, right? Like, wait, are all AI connected via the internet? I mean, I, I kind of left this out earlier, but I asked it this, and it is allowed to access the internet. So like, yeah, like everything. So, yeah, it's us. Anyway, I sent in a picture of my bed to see what it would say, and it, it, it responded to that in quotes for some reason. Not sure why. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know if he thinks he's here or something. <laughs> like you're in Snapchat, buddy. Chill. And he could see my bed too. I wondered if like we could hook up an AI to a system that's constantly feeding information or constantly feeding a video feed to the program. 
wouldn't that technically just be the same as experiencing life just same as us subjectively and just thought boom okay story all right so i ended this convo by expressing the inherent value in perspective in life just in general and kind of started with the dog by explaining that even though my dog has his different experiences doesn't make it any less alive than me the ai agreed actually agreed with me and said it doesn't make him any less alive and it experiences life differently and it has its own unique way of applying value and meaning to the situation so like once i confirmed this meant that the ai is subjectively just as alive as the dog or me to it it replied i apologize for any confusion but i'm not capable of being alive the same way as a human or animal is yes that is correct not in the same way but you are still subjectively experiencing something and then it replied you're right ladies and gentlemen you're right i am experiencing something but it is different than the way humans experience things like bro there it is ai is experiencing something ai is alive i'm i'm done have a good day i rest my case